So, my name is Aaron Broccoli, and we affectionately call our bus the Broccoli Bus. It was a total accident on a schoolie forum. I just was like, oh, that sounds fun, and it turned into a thing, and it stuck. So, here I am. Uh, my wife has an Instagram, Broccoli Bus 6, if you want to check that out. Um, so, this is our bus. It's a 40 foot um, Bluebird. It used to be 78 passengers, just low, like the roof right there. And then I raised it up higher and um, extended all the, the frames on side of it. Did you have any problem raising the roof or did you follow like the other buses do? Technically all of them um, copied me. I was oh. the first, so Wes was the guy that did that one. I mean not all of them, I'm, clearly people had done this transition before I have as well, but I think I'm probably one of the first ones that's done a steel wrap like that that is published on the internet. Uh -huh. I've seen pictures from like literally the 1980s and 70s where wraps have been done like that. So I'm not inventing anything new here, but um, I don't see any other ones that are on the Instagrammy, YouTubey, whatever stuff that is yeah. out there. So. Uh, so it's a lot cleaner than mine. Mine's pretty Thank ugly, um, and it, it leaked for a very long time. I hadn't fought leaks with it, and right. I'm guessing you don't have any leaks? I don't have any leaks. Oh, that's really nice. It, it worked out pretty well. Um, there's stuff I'd do different if I did it again, of course. I think like we all. <laughs> yeah. But, all like um, that. Yeah, so this is a really... I've, I've tried to help people. Like, I've given them the template plans for the cuts. If they get the dimensions, it's pretty easy to calculate the shape that you need to have to be able to place it on there. So, yeah, and then it just, nice. when you put the sheet metal that's flat, it just rolls right on and you just pop it into a piece so, uh, and put it there. If we wanted to contact you to get that information for that math, what would we do? Uh, you could hit me up on uh, our website, broccolibus.com. Okay. Um, there's a contact form there. You can do that or just uh, Instagram. All right, and cool. Get a hold of us through there. I would love to and tell you how to do that. You got lights on the outside on both sides. Right. That's our stadium lights. I um, seen them on the other night. They lit up the whole place. They're, they're pretty bright. Uh, that was because I was maneuvering around in the complete darkness with rocks and stuff around and almost started scraping things and was panicking. And You know, one of the first things you're supposed to do is to get out and look around. Yeah. And it's really hard to remember that when you're driving a big truck to look around. So... Um, after we got ex successfully extricated out of that, I, a couple of weeks later, I bought the lights and installed those, so they're really handy for that. I think one of my favorite things to do is on a desolate road, if you're driving at nighttime, is to turn them on and just look off into the distance. It's kind of neat. I, yeah, I bet it is. Um, well, are you ready to go in and sure, check it out? Um, we can come out later and check out the battery system yeah. if you want, but uh, let's go ahead and do a tour now. So this door here is not an original door. That's, um, you get out of the way of the camera. Yep, that door was uh, something I built to replace the accordion folding door. Um, it still is actuated with the air system, so if I turn off the emergency release, uh -huh. I can open and close it from the air system still. There's an extra air actuator in the door handle that pops the door latch and opens it. Oh. And you can lock it and open it and stuff. It's pretty fun. Nice. So it uses a standard automotive bear claw latch, but it's both pneumatically actuated and manually actuated. Cool, cool. Um, this is our seating area. All of our seats are set up for kind of like a bus or an airplane or whatever you want to call it. I had wanted to have some safety because kids running around everywhere wasn't yeah. something I wanted to have. And I um, guess it doubles as your study room for your uh, homeschooling? Yeah, so we can fold down all, all these seats fold down flat because they're the center row of a minivan, so their stow-and-go seats have been repurposed. Oh, cool. So they can slide and adjust a little bit. This is my desk area here, so this is just a little table that folds up and down, and my computer monitor folds out, so you can uh, see that. Um, it doesn't really get in the way, so when I'm sitting here and I look outside, you know, the, the monitor is just at the right angle, so it doesn't even block any of the view. So oh, that's really nice. It's kind of neat. I wish it was possible to do it while driving, but you'd wop the driver's head with the thing if you're doing it. So yeah, we don't do, do that. that. Um, this table, just the geometry is just a little too tight to use it while driving. Um, maybe someday in the future I'll put a little seat tray thing, or maybe cut a cut out on this piece here so you can move the seat. And mm. cause it'd be nice to be able to sit and yeah. use this surface while the driver's driving. That's for sure. So you don't always drive it? Um, no, I'm I'm always the driver, but my wife sits behind me usually when. Ah, oh, okay. Driving. And then the kids all sit on this side. Does she have any interest in driving it? Um, not yet. 
I tried to convince her that it would be nice out here on the rocks to drive, mm -hmm. but um, she hasn't taken me up on that. Hello, puppy dog. The dogs love to squeeze past all the time. Oh, he's going to run out. I better... Sam, Sam. here, we'll just Hold get him. It. Oh, you want to just grab the door? Yeah, I just grab the door. Yeah, you forget to close these doors when you're doing tours. I've noticed people do the same thing in my rig. Yeah, that's all right. No, let's close the door. Puppy dog don't escape. Yeah. So this yeah. is our kitchen. Um, I'll turn on some lights. So we have a little lighting. So we have... I really like these light bulbs. They look like Edison bulbs. Uh-huh. Oh, those are the LED ones? But they're ones? actually 12 volt. So oh, these yeah. aren't 120 volt. They're just 12. They have a little power converter in them. So I just used a 120 volt fixture, but it's all 12 volts so still. Nice. So it's kind of neat. There's nice. a whole... A uh, set of bolts you can get on um, Amazon, 12 volt monster or something like that, and they have all the different fixture t or, or light bulb types, but they're all 12 volt systems. Cool. And then we recently we changed this faucet out. We like this. It's like a sprayer thing, and then yeah. it's got a. I haven't hooked it up, but this side is like a, a fresh water tap. So if you have like a reverse osmosis system, it'll dispense from the second little thing on yeah. the side. So I've got to hook up the RO. That'd be really cool to have that. It would be. Um, then we have just a propane, or it's a gas stove range. It was uh, natural gas, and I just it had the conversion jet, so I switched over to propane. Oh, and, yeah, I see it. And then um, this is our pantry, so it slides all the way out. This and you just use regular drawer sides at the top and bottom, yeah, and, and, and well, and midway. Too. So, and it supports the weight, and you don't have any problems right. with it. I'll, I'll be honest, there was a way easier way to do this after I built it that I didn't even think about. Just put some wheels on the bottom and have it roll on the ground. It's like, duh, I should have done that, but here I am overbuilding it. So yeah, well, we it all works. do that. So yeah, yeah it's good. So, and yeah. you so said that, these latch are. What are these latches? These are like just door security latches. So if this was like your door frame, uh -huh. and your door opened this way for like an exterior door, like your front door of your house, uh -huh. these just screw into the door jam, and then it would just hold the door closed, just like. And like a little chain lock thing or one of those little latches. There. And just, does it lift up or does it just pull? It kind of springs out this way. Oh, so, so you slides. pull it out and slides out and so it yeah. locks it in place. So when you close it, you just have to do that and it just closes. Oh, cool. And there's one on the bottom too, so we kind of keep it. Because it it's pretty heavy and if we take a... I don't know, you probably curbed your bus going around corners where it goes, um, woo, and, and stuff. Actually, I haven't curbed my bus, but maybe one time I was in Phoenix whenever there's a car hiding the uh, intersection. But yeah. It, I drove school buses for three years. So okay, I know, so you pretty comfortable. I, with I it. know what I'm actually right. um, getting into most I just, of the time. Most of the time that I've hit drove up on a curb is if I'm negotiating something super tight mm -hmm. and I kind of have to get that kerner and I just can't quite get it and then ride up on the curb and back down and everything swings. It's like I want this that type of action. I don't want these things to move at all. I want them to be really secure. Yeah. So. Well, I've hit plenty of speed bumps yeah. where it's not so much uh, oh, it's, fun like that. What's also fun is that there's a lock in here so I can lock the pantry. Because children start to just eat. Feed, free, feed, free feeding out of the pantry sometimes gets a little annoying. Not so much that they're eating the food, but they usually don't clean up afterwards. So. Yeah, so yeah. if they cleaned up, you wouldn't care. Right. And then... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> These are all the drawers that we have for just food and utensils and everything. They're actually just a empty frame. So if you look here, this frame is just oh. a big square shape. So you just have a tub that you drop in and there. And so these tubs are standard uh, food grade, commercial commercial food grade containers. Okay. And you can get, this is a, here, why don't you go ahead back there and keep working on your homework. Um, this is a, this is a one size and they come in different depths but you can get half where they're this big and so but but two of them fit into the same footprint as a one or you can get thirds and quarters and sixths and eighths okay. and so they all fit inside of the same frame hole did you uh build the frame yourself weld it up yeah so all the frames i build this is all just um standard stock from the metal store um, so is that half inch uh or a i think quarter? It's, it's half inch i think it's half inch so kind half, of looks inch, like half inch tube square stock. Right, right, and then drop it in a template and weld it up and just make a whole bunch of them. And you can kind of see the, the locking system. So mm -hmm. the frame okay. setup that I used didn't have enough space for the latches up at the front. Uh -huh. So I ended up having like a push rod thing that goes to the back here. It's cool, but it's kind of overly complex at the same time. Oh, so it's a magnetic lock? No, it's like a mechanical. So there's uh, like a, there's a latch, so when you slide it all the way in and you hit the latch, it 
just come out and then you can slide it out like that. Cool. So, um. Puppy, you're right underneath me. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, they love I'm not to, trying to get you. I they love to walk underneath you. That's because that's how he knows he, he likes you. Yeah, my puppy dog does the same thing. She gets yeah. right underneath my feet. And I, she has a, a command, get out of the kitchen. She leaves the whole kitchen. Yeah, right. that's funny. And so the bottom ones are kind of the same deal. It's also the commercial. So this is, um, in a commercial kitchen, the dishwashers racks mm -hmm. are this size. So this is a half rack, mm -hmm. and then there's a full rack below. So um, is this a dishwasher? No, it's not a dishwasher. It's just storage. But, okay, so it's just the racks. But double. it has the racks. And the thing is, is that we can put our dishes away sort of damp in here. There's airflow through here, and everything dries out. Oh, nice. So when you close it, there's a little bit of airflow vents out of the vehicle. And, we always have things dry in there. That That's way. nice.